Hi, happy Monday. I hope you're doing well today and that you had a great weekend. We've got so many cool things to look at this week. This whole week we're talking about math concepts and I've got a great book to start us with. It's called Monster Math Picnic. Monster Math Picnic. Let's look at this. Are the monsters ready to go? 10 say yes, zero say no. Nine monsters come by air, one monster comes by land. Eight monsters play in mud, two monsters play in sand. Seven chase squirrels, three chase bears. Six sit on a bench, four sit on chairs. Five monsters eat some bread, Five monsters eat some cheese. Four monsters run from flies. Six monsters run from bees. Three swim, seven just float. Two surf, eight sail a boat. One monster wants to rest. Nine monsters want to play. Ten monsters go to sleep and dream about their happy day. The end. This is such a fun book and it's about adding and subtracting. I wanted to show you a little bit of that. I know we just read it, but it says, are the monsters ready to go? 10 say yes, zero say no. So we could add all 10 of these up and zero of them say no, so we don't have to subtract any. So with this, we know all 10 are there. Let's go ahead and do the next page. Nine monsters come by air, one monster comes by land. Well, we can add these up. Let's do that. So we've got nine over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more over here. So we can add these up. Nine plus one is 10. We have 10 monsters in our master math picnic. Over here it says eight monsters play in the mud, two monsters play in sand. We could add this up again too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we've got two over here. So eight plus two is equal to 10. This is a fun book. Seven chase squirrels, three chase bears. So seven plus three is equal to 10 too. Six sit on benches and four sit on chairs. And so six over here plus four over here equals 10 again. This book is all about adding and it's called Monster Math Picnic. That was a fun book. I also wanted to go over some symbols with you all today. These are some of the symbols we use in class. And if you want to, you could make a set for yourself at home as well. These are good symbols to have. This one is a really important one. I would, thought we'd share with this one first. This one says nurse on it. And if someone pointed at this, we know they needed a nurse. Over here, this says no. Do we wanna go outside? No, okay. 
That's a good one to have. Or what about go? Are you ready to go? You want to go get the mail? Let's go. That's a good symbol to have. Down here we have more. If someone's still hungry, they might want more. We've got four more symbols I wanted to go over with you down here too. This is snoozeland. This tells us that this is a fun one. If we point it at this, we want some fun. Over here, PE gym. That one's, let's do something athletic. Art, here we go. Let's do something creative. And finally, down here we have library. And that could be, let's go to the library or let's read a book together. These are great symbols to have, and they're so helpful to use from home. The last book I wanted to go over with you all today is called Farm Days, and it's just a fun book. And uh, I'm going to show you the back side. I think it's so funny. Let's go ahead and look at it. Farm Days. I think this is going to be a fun book. It says, this book belongs to you. Oh, look at this picture. It's a cow. Well, let's open it up and find out what's in it. City boy Chip had, had been invited by his country cousins, the McDoubles, to visit them on the farm. They were supposed to meet him at the station. Where are they? They must be very late with farm chores, thought Chip. And there's Chip right there. Batty and Crooky McDouble lived on the old McFay farm, owned and operated by farmer Chuanda McFay. It was a big farm with many barns and fields and pastures where cows and horses would graze and wander about. Chip set off to find the farm. The McDoubles had said it was just a mile from the station. Which way? This way? No, maybe that way. He wasn't sure. There's a cow, he thought. I must be getting close. Hello, is this the McFay farm? Asked Chip. This is the McFay farm, all right. Yep, er, ro. And I am Farmer John de McFay. Jiggity jig, help me down. What's your name? Chip, he replied. Chip, what kind of wacky name is that? Bless my ketchup bottle. You must be the city boy the McDoubles were telling me about. Hot diggity. Well, Chip liked Farmer Chuhando. He was tall and friendly and a little hard to understand. There's Farmer Chuhando right there. Farmer Chuando seated himself on the big red tractor and started it with a crank. It made a lot of noise. So the McDoubles tell me you want to be a farmer. Do you like vegetables? Do you like broccoli, green beans, peppers, squash, and that sort of thing? Well, then hop on. The McDoubles are out in the big field planting a garden. Lickety-pickety, and they off they rode over the hill and down the big field to find the McDoubles. That's them on the tractor. Hi, Chip, said Batty. Hi, Chip, said Crookie. Sorry we couldn't meet you at the station. We had to pick seeds and supplies. We're going to make a vegetable garden. It will be fun, and we sure could use some help. There's a wheelbarrow over there, said Batty. And here's a shovel, said Crookie. Okay, said Chip, good-natured. Everybody's jumping in to help. Let's see, peas and carrots along this row here and broccoli there, cucumbers over here and tomatoes back there. Or maybe the other way around, said Crookie. What about squash, said Batty? Squash is okay, but I prefer watermelon, said Crookie. 
Chip dug the garden, carted away all the heavy rocks with his wheelbarrow, and set up the fence. The McDoubles planted the seeds. Hippity ho, nice work, youngsters, said Farmer Chondo. Now make sure you give your garden plenty of water. So here's them planting it right there. And over here, it's ready to go. And they've got the water can right there. Ooh, let's look at the pictures. So here we go. There's going to water it. Good job. Now it's watered. Over here, look at that. Chondo told the vis youngsters that planting was just the beginning. To grow healthy vegetables, keep in mind the four W's, water, weeding, and waiting. There's only three, said Chip. Whatever, said Farmer Chondo. Oh, said Chip, watering, weeding, waiting, and whatever. Farmer Chondo showed them that they what they could expect to see in their garden if they cared for it properly. The little seeds would grow into big watermelons, giant cauliflower, jumbo tomatoes, long green beans, and huge peas. Chip wondered when he would be when we would be, need to begin weeding. I hear cows are calling, said Farmer Chuando. How'd you like to milk a cow, Chip? I like milk, said Chip. Farmer John drove everyone over to the cow barn on his tractor. When they got there, the McDoubles sat right down to enjoy a carton of fresh milk from their prize cow. Mmm, milk, said Batty. Mmm, milk, said Crookie. Which cow should I milk, asked Chip. There's more to milking cows than milking cows, said Farmer Chondo. Chip and Farmer Chondo went into the barn to clean the stalls. Chip was a little afraid. The cows were really big. After a big lunch at the farmhouse, Farmer Chuando led the trio back out to the field. The hay needs mowing, said Farmer Chuando. Betty and Crookie showed Chip how to use the mower. You just push, said Batty, and just keep pushing, said Crookie. And pushing. Meanwhile, the McDoubles went down to the pond to check on the ducks. They decided to check on the fish, too. Chip continued to mow and mow and mow and mow and mow and mow. That's him mowing right there. And then that's them going down to check on the fish. Later that afternoon, Farmer Chondo was pitching hay when he heard a strange sound. Bumblebees, sawing? What's that noise? Exhausted from mowing, Chip had fallen asleep in a nice soft pile of hay. He was very comfortable. Wake up, youngster, Chippity Cricket. No time for naps on a farm. Crows in the corn, cows in the barn, or something. There are still more chores to do. Here, Chip, put on my hat. And right here, he put on his hat. And it says, I still don't see any crows, said Chip. He's doing a good job, said Batty. Chip looks really scary, said Crookie. So he's being a scarecrow. Isn't that silly? Chip had no idea that farming was such hard work. He was very tired. Now it was time for him to pack his suitcase and go back to the city. Packity pack, off so soon, my boy, said Farmer Chuando. Goodbye, Farmer Chuando. Goodbye, Batty and Crookie. I've learned a lot about farming. Thank you. Goodbye, Chip. Come back soon, said Batty. Yes, come back soon, said Crookie. So he's headed off. Two days later, the McDoubles received, along with some bills, a letter from Chip. It read, 
Dear Batty and Crookie and Farmer Chondo, thank you for letting me visit you on your farm. There's a lot more to farming than I realized. My Uncle Dizzy has given me a job at his nightclub. Please come visit me in the city if you're not too busy with farm chores. Yours truly, Chip. P.S. How's the garden? Any weeds? Don't forget to water or whatever. And it's a picture of him playing music right there. And it says, tonight only. That was a fun book. I loved it. It's called Farm Days. I hope you all had a great day today. And I hope Monday's wonderful. And I'll see you again Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.